Hello, this is your RPG Archivist with my January vlog. Happy Brexit to um, uh, Britain. Uh, I hear that that's going to happen today. It is the 31st of January. I'm happy for you guys, even though not all of you apparently want to leave the EU. Oh well, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway... Uh, so I actually wrote bullet points on what I want to talk about today so I could actually keep up. I, I was trying to do this vlog in my car, but it was a little noisy in the car, and I didn't hit everything, and I've decided, uh, bullet points. Yeah, everybody likes that. Future of vlogging. Well, I've decided that it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a monthly vlog. About toward the end of the month, every month, um... How often will I do it? Uh, will I do it every month? Maybe, maybe not. I guess it depends on whether or not I have anything to say. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think it's a good idea. I had fun doing the last one in December. It was nice and relaxing. And if I remember right, I did it while I was um, <laughs> setting a fire <laughs> ah, during the um, Christmas time. That was nice. Um, but anyway, you get this nice boring set piece. Got my bullet points on top of the Pathfinder role-playing game. And no, I don't intend to actually review Pathfinder anytime soon. It just happens I'm uh, with a new group and I'm trying to write a character for the group and they're at level 14. And I thought, <laughs> you know what, I, I'll just keep it simple. I'll just make a human fighter, can't get any easier than that, and I start flipping through Pathfinder, and uh-oh, feats, wow, okay, there's like, at level 14, there's eight fighter feats, and then you've got seven character class feats, and then I get a feat for, just for being human, and, um, and I think I even get another feat just for existing, so yeah, uh, <laughs> Ooh, I wrote them all down, and I think I'm going to rewrite them because I'm already thinking of ways that I messed up. Pathfinder is a game that I've only played a couple of times. I had all the books for Pathfinder, all the core books anyway. Player's Guide, uh, Monster Manual, DMG, actually two bestiaries. They call them bestiaries in, um, in Pathfinder. And when you know it, in November I sold them all, and this is a used copy that I purchased at Second and Charles. And when you know it, uh, the used copy isn't even as good as the one I had sold. Uh, I am kicking myself once again, because how many times has this happened? How many times am I going to get rid of things only to find that I need them later? And this is why I hoard. Yeah. Anyway, Pathfinder. Yeah, I hoping it's going to be a good game. I think it will. Um, I'm working on getting. <laughs> I got a budget for make, getting magic items for my character, and um, I haven't even scratched the surface. And I'm like, I'm looking at my magic items. And I'm thinking, yeah, this is like scrub level stuff. I, I got to be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever played up to level fourteen. Like, ever. So, in any game. So, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, future videos. I'm going to do another budget DM. The next one's going to be Let's Make a Magic Item. I had a good time uh, making just a, a, a monster. Just throwing something together for a game. Not even using the Dungeon Master's Guide. Not even using the Monster Manual. Just using the Player's Handbook for 5th Edition Dungeons & Dragons. I had a blast. I enjoyed that. Uh, unfortunately, it's also one of my least viewed videos. <laughs> People weren't real keen on it, I guess. I had fun, though. Uh, that's probably going to be my next video. Uh, hopefully, in the future, I'm going to do Forgotten Temple of Tharosden. Uh, I definitely want to uh, touch on that and maybe compare and contrast it to Death Frost Doom. Which, by the way, uh, leads me to more Lamentations of the Flame Princess. That Death Frost Doom video um, 
netted me four more subscribers. So apparently somebody out there likes uh, likes Lamentations of the Flame Princess, and I've got a few of them. I've got uh, Fire Anthology, Death Anthology, The Punchline, and No Rest for the Wicked. And I haven't read any of them as of yet. And finally, Lords of Creation. Uh, I've decided I'm going to put that one away for, for indefinitely. I want to do it, but I don't know. It's, it's taking... Every time I pick it up, I look at it and I'm like, this isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it away, do stuff that that I think I could I could do justice to and maybe come back to Lords of Creation. It's a it's an underrated underappreciated system. Okay, well, this was a very quick blog. I put things in bullet points and I just zip on through it like nothing. And uh hadn't even hit uh just hit the 6 minute mark. Hmm. Well, I can't think of anything else to talk about, and no sense padding it, so this is your RPG Archivist saying, see ya!